One question that we get asked is what are common pedestal power issues? Uh, there could be several. The number one common issue that you're gonna get at an RV park would be low voltage. It's just something that if the park's not supplying you with enough voltage, it could be a hot summer day where you know they're trying to supply you with 120 volts, but everybody's got a, a big equipment on, AC units, that's gonna bring the voltage down. There could be some sag. Um, the other issue would be is if you're at the end of a long run. So say there's uh, where the where the power comes in from the, the park and the you know the main breaker from the electricity electricity. Uh, company if you're at the very end of a line you're gonna experience voltage drop voltage sag just because you're at the end of the line there's resistance in that wire to get the electricity to you so at the beginning it might start out as 120 volts if you're a thousand feet down the line you might not have that so a lot of different factors can contrib contribute to low voltage um, other than low voltage you can have miswired poles um, sometimes if you have a 50 amp pole there's two hot wires they could bridge them together and you mistakenly have 240 volts going through your coach you can have an open ground an open neutral which are obviously dangerous you can get shocked um, there's many other uh, issues that you can experience at a pole uh, so definitely having an EPO unit, something that has the auto shut off, is something that's gonna protect you and or protect your coach. One of the typical problems that you might experience at a RV spot uh, with the pole supplying your power would be low voltage. So with the uh, power watchdog unit, you can have low voltage where it's just slowly dropping down to the 104 cutoff. And I got my alert. There's my error shown on the watchdog unit. Or let me just restart this here, turn the voltage back up. Another issue that you could experience would be something like an open ground. Say you're plugged in, everything's fine, you got proper voltage. Uh, somebody's back in their RV and next to you and they take out the pole and they take out the ground that you're both sharing. Now I have my alert sent to my phone, missing ground, and I also have an E7 error code on the unit. So the Power Watchdog EPO unit, it is looking for open ground, reverse polarity, high voltage, low voltage, too many amps, uh, open neutral on the coach's end, and uh, you name it. If it does detect uh, an issue or a problem, then the dog's face turns red, it displays your error code here, and then uh, power is shut, is stopped from going into your coach. So uh, your coach would be on battery power, but it's gonna be protected from you know, a dangerous condition like high voltage, low voltage, uh, or open neutral.